super creep me out. Blah, 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 blah. Creep me. Okay. But, like, all of my choices aren't really, like, creepy settings, but, like, the basis around them is creepy, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, but is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tome, so I'll leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to check out the topics and make your own videos. This week's topic is to pick the, your Top 5 Creepy Settings, and these don't have to be from like horror books. They just have to be settings that gave you like the heebie-jeebies but in a good way. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I'm going to talk about is one that I recently read. Which I'm going to have a review up on my channel on Sunday for it because it was just like, I'm obsessed with it. But it is Chevy Stevens Never Let You Go and this book is not really a creepy setting at all. Like the setting is Canada but the premise behind the book was so creepy. It's basically this woman who was in an abusive relationship. She runs away with her daughter and then 11 years later the husband is out of jail and he starts to like stalk her again. So it's super creepy, super super just like the whole time you're reading it you're like ugh. Like I hate Andrew who is the husband. He's just such a creepy human being but like Oh, you guys need to read this book because like I can't tell you a lot about it because it kind of gives it away but like heebie-jeebies throughout the whole thing but so good. The next book that I have is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I've only read The Raven Boys but I've heard that it just gets better and better as you progress through the cycle which like I need to do ASAP. But the whole like atmosphere of this book is creepy. It just gives you like this weird feeling while you're reading it, but it's like a good creepy feeling, if that makes sense. It's got psychics, it's got like paranormal aspects, it's got ghosts, like it's just so good. So good, so like highly recommend it. Super creepy atmosphere, totally a creepy setting. The forest that they go into, I love it so far, even though like, you know, still only read the first book love it. The next book that I have is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. This is like an exorcism book. So like creepy obviously but the house that they try to do the exorcism in is just like what? Like I would not want to go to that house. I would not want to be in the situation that the girls are in because like who wants to exorcise their friend? Nobody. So just creepy. Just creepy okay? Just creepy. The next book I have I feel like it's gonna be on a lot of people's lists just because like nobody would want to be in a world like this but it is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I mean it's The Hunger Games. Kids are killing kids. Like there's a world where you know you get basically chosen to go kill people. I did not, no, I did not like. I do not want to live there. Creepy setting. Do not want world like Hunger Games. And then the final book that I have for the creepy settings, Top 5 Wednesday, is Room by Emma Donahue. If you have not read this book, like, the setting is not creepy, but like, it is creepy because it's about a kidnapping and it's basically just the story of this mom and her son living in this room because the girl was kidnapped when she was younger and then had her son in the room. Like, creepy! No. Would not want situation like this, obviously, but like... Uh, Alright guys, so that was my poorly explained <laughs> reasons why I chose my creepy settings. I mean, I get worse and worse in every video. Why are you all still watching me? That's a question I have every day. But I appreciate you! And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!